Hi, welcome to Spark Company UK. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up a Dropbox recording uh, with the IP camera. Uh, in this demo, I'm using a Mac computer. However, it is fairly similar on a Windows PC. Uh, it's just the first part that differs. So on a Mac, you need to go and hit this uh, magnifying glass there. And as long as you connect it to the same uh, router, as in this computer is connected to the same router as the camera, it should show up in the uh, auto search list. Now on a Windows PC, it's slightly different. The auto search list is down the bottom on the bottom left. And when it shows up there, you'll need to right click on the, uh, the number of the camera. You'll then see a box that says web configure appears. You need to left click on that and that takes you to the next screen. On a Mac, when it shows up on the auto search, you need to click this little arrow here and that will open up this page. Now, from this point onwards, the Mac and the PC are exactly the same. So the first thing you need to do is type in the default password, well, default username, which is admin. And there is no password, just leave it blank and click login. Once you're in there, if you go down to schedule, and I believe it's cloud storage. Yeah, and you'll see there should be no one logged into the Dropbox account. Um, so if you now click the login button, what it's going to do is try and open up a pop-up in Chrome. It will block it and show it there. Now, um, other browsers might differ. I know I've had problems in the past using Internet Explorer, so if you do have trouble, try using Chrome for this part. Uh, simply copy that, that number there and paste into Chrome. Because I know that it's easy to get past this part. All you do on Chrome is click on that little um, window there. And then you can either always allow pop-ups or simply click on the link. And if you click on the link, you'll open the pop-up for you. All this is, it allows you to log into your Dropbox account. It should remember my details, but you'll probably need to type yours in. So literally, the login details for Dropbox. If you haven't got a Dropbox account, you can create one on this page as well. Um, and so once that's done, just press sign in. And so allow access so the camera can write to Dropbox itself. Okay, and once it's connected, simply close. Uh, go back onto the cloud storage, and what it would do, it might take a minute, but it, it will figure out how much information, uh, sorry, how much data you got available on Dropbox, uh, and let you know how much you can write to. So the next thing, you can either have it always recording, uh, disable recording, or scheduled. Now, it's up to you, I normally prefer schedule. Uh, you can tell it how long to keep the records for. It's totally up to you. And save and apply. If you put on, if you put it onto the schedule, though, you then need to go into the schedule, either create a new one or edit the existing one. Click on to uh, NAS Cloud, and then click on to what, what if you want continuous or motion, and then update the schedule. And at that point, now what's going to happen is every time it sees motion, it will then record that write it to Dropbox. You can then view the files on any computer that's logged into Dropbox. So if you've got the Dropbox application on another PC, then each recording will just download onto that PC for you. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.